This is a video made from 8 millimeter movie film, probably 1951 or 52 in that area. It's the homecoming parade for Gadsden High School. And uh, this was a parade where they were going to play Etowah, the homecoming game. And uh, this movie, this film, was made by my father-in-law, Bert Eves. Bert worked at McCleskey Brothers Auto Parts store down South 4th Street. And uh, he was into uh, photography and 8 millimeter movies. And on occasions, when there would be parades or whatever, he would go up there and film them. Well, <clears throat> through the years, uh, the film, of course, has gotten to a point where it was starting to deteriorate. And about four years ago, I had the opportunity to take some of it and uh, put it on a video and uh, on a DVD. So now I'm going to take it and try to narrate some of it to tell people about what is going on here. Of course, you can see the uh, old automobiles and the uh, uh, <clears throat> probably where Bert did some of the filming was there on South Third Street, right across the corner from Dobson's. And uh, but the film has been slowed down considerably, so that even though there's places where it's very blurry you may be able to still recognize some faces. And like I said, there's no definite date on this, but I believe it had to be either 51 or 52 along in that area because uh, the uh, bands had those orange jackets. And the best I remember, they still had them in the mid-50s, probably late 50s when they retired those and bought the ones with the black jacket and the gray slacks. <clears throat> and uh, we're coming up now, of course, like I said, the old cars and the uh, kids riding in the cars, seeing all the old cars on parked on Broad Street there. And some of the floats are being pulled by old, old trucks. They had to be in the late 40s, I guess. Seemed like about 50 years ago, I was up in the state of Iowa where I was trying to build a high school band, small town there. And one Spring morning in 1936, I received a letter from Mr. Donahue, superintendent of schools in Gadsden, Alabama, inquiring as to whether I'd be interested to come to Gadsden and see about building an instrumental music program here. He offered me a hundred dollars a month. That's more than I was making. So I took him up on that. And that fall, early September 1936, I drove into Gadsden, Alabama with everything I owned, uh, part of the back seat of an old Ford car didn't know a single person in Alabama uh, at that time. But it didn't take long. And Gadsden is a very friendly town, particularly to newcomers. And I found it a very pleasant place to be. Although the music end was pretty discouraging for a while. 
that first September and only 15 students showed up to take band and those 15 couldn't play they just happened to have an instrument around the house they could carry and so something had to be done about that so I went around to the study halls and Gads in high school took my horn to play them a few tunes they could get that period off to do something else so I managed to recruit a few enough that uh, the next fall after graduation in 1937 we had a band of 50 pieces and during that summer we were able to buy new uniforms to outfit that 50 piece band of course that involved a lot of help from support from civic clubs businessmen around town we could never have done it if we hadn't had tremendous support I hate to even start mentioning names but one name I that stands out above all the rest is, as a booster was a dear old gentleman named Mr. J.V. Lyles who owned the Lily Pure Ice Cream Company and he didn't have any children in school his daughter was already through school but he loved kids and and he he gave us tremendous backing along with this great many other people and uh, so what long the next year we had about 100 pieces and third year we had a band of 120 pieces but after that first year we had two high schools then Emma Sansom High School wanted a band too so Mr. Donahue told me I spent about half my time over Emma Sansom so we started the band at Emma Sansom <coughs> uh, 37 and uh, of course that put me in a pretty tight spot there's a big rivalry between the two city high schools when they played each other in football i had to stand down the end zone and put a student in charge of each band so that i wouldn't be on the, anybody's side of the field and after a couple of years uh, Mr. Donahue decided I need a little help and he hired Lamar Triplett to come and take the Emma Sansom band and I devoted my time to Gadsden High School and two junior highs that at that time fed into Gadsden High School and there were times there when I had as many as 400 kids taking band every day didn't even have a lunch hour had, <laughs> had drive around all over town and catch them where I could catch them when I left the Midwest to come to Alabama my plan was to stay about two years and get the we entered that thing and uh, practiced all Christmas vacation, getting ready to go. And uh, one of the funny things that happened, uh, we had a deal where we going like hell across the field and we 
made a sudden reverse and everybody did a 180 degree turn and went 